Hello and welcome back. Today we will be loading our sales fact which is the final layer for the fact data load. In the previous video we completed the staging load for our sales fact. If you have not seen that video I would recommend you to go back and watch that video first. I am in my Jupyter Lab environment and this is the sales fact IPython notebook that we will be using to load the data into the final sales fact. Let's run through the cells one by one. We have imported the required library configurations and utility functions that is required for this load. Next the job parameter as usual the run date is set to 20220101. We'll be reading the data from the staging table. Let's generate the Spark session. Let's set the required Spark config. Now we'll be reading the data from the staging table. As you can see, we are reading 163 records, which is same as that we have loaded in the staging layer. Now to populate the surrogate keys in the fact table, we will read the dim store and the dim customer table. Since we have already populated the product surrogate key in the staging layer itself, we will only populate the remaining surrogate keys, which are dim store, dim customer and the date weight. To populate the surrogate key from the dimension table, we will make a left outer join with the fact table and we will use the natural key store ID and customer ID to get the keys. We will add the remaining audit columns and we will select the required columns from the table. Let's run this cell. Before we write the data into the final layer, let's validate the data. It seems the data is populated properly. Let's write the data into the final layer. We are using append mode to load all the data into the fact table. Since we are not updating or upserting any record into the fact table, we will always be up appending data into the final layer. The data is loaded into the fact table. Now let's load the data in the job control and generate the symlink manifest file. The Simlink manifest file is also generated. Before we wrap up, let's validate the data in the fact table. The data is properly populated. We have our surrogate keys date vid, product vid, store vid, customer vid. We have order ID, invoice number, quantity, the calculated tax, the calculated discount, the calculated line item, the integration key, and all other rest audit columns. We have the data properly populated in our fact table. Now we can use the surrogate keys to connect with the respective dimension and generate our analytical report. Let's stop the Spark session. Today we completed the data load for the fact sales. This video concludes our data load into the data lake house. We have only one dimension which is the plant type which is missing. Since the data is not changing in plant type dimension, we can write static insert queries and insert the data once in plant type. The plant type dimension will be connected with the customer dimension. In the next video, we'll load our plan type and we'll see how we'll use Athena to generate our analytical queries. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.